Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Corky's World Channel. I'm Corky, as always, and as you can see, we are going to start our uh, five-episode mini-run of Hollow Knight on the Nintendo Switch, keeping on track with the Nintendo Switch along, or uh, Switch Up, or Switch Through, or whatever whatever we decide to call this little phase of the show where we're exclusively playing Nintendo Switch games. Um, so, I don't know much about Hollow Knight. I just did a little uh, crash course on Wikipedia this game uh, was originally announced in 2014 uh, via Kickstarter and ended up making about $57,000 on, uh, or getting back $57,000 uh, before it released on Steam uh, to be played on Windows and, uh, it said Windows uh, and Linux. Um, so, that's basically all I know. It's a Metrovania, it's a, uh, a Metroidvania game. Uh, roguelike, you know, not roguelike because it doesn't change up, but you know, it's all about exploration. It's all about collecting and then upgrading yourself. I know very little about it. I've played, uh, so we're gonna hit start game. I've actually played two hours of it by myself, uh, and uh, it's interesting. It's a little frustrating. Uh, it's it's not this game doesn't this game doesn't give you any anything. It, like doesn't do you any favors. It's pretty pretty tough. And uh, people like that sort of game, so maybe that's why this was so popular. And when it got released on Switch recently, uh, it immediately jumped to uh, to one of the best sellers on the Switch. So uh, that being said, we're going to start a new game and dive right in. If I remember correctly, there's no voice acting in this game. So I'll, I'll read it uh, myself. In Wilds Beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hollownest by Monomon the T. So like I said, this game is pretty... I touch the mic. This game is pretty fucking difficult, but it, it does have a really like creepy yet calm, peaceful uh, app, uh, not aptitude, uh, attitude and uh, and vibe to it. Um, again, I can see why a lot of people like it. And indie games like this always tend to find their their crowd. I was really tempted to uh, to pick up what's that one that just came out uh, like Bloodstain or something that was like a legit remake of not remake but like it has like the detail and graphics of the original Castlevania on the NES but um, I thought that might be just a little too much for me to get my hands on or uh, not not get my hands on but me to dive into but uh. If you if you want to see it, uh, it's not that it's not that expensive. I'd be happy to pick it up, and we could give it a little five run and uh, keep the keep the switch the switch train alive. Uh, that being said, for anyone who's wondering, uh, Pokemon is still happening. Um, by the time this aired, you know uh, I had a little trip. We went and saw uh, Professor Sanford and uh, Alley Cat, his wife, and. Uh, and we hung out with them, had a little, me and Curran had a fun little Illinois trip, and, uh, but, uh, that's why this, this, uh, switch run happened, because it was super easy for me to just set this up, and, uh, and get it going for all of you, and for, to keep, uh, the air schedule, um, that for some reason I stick to so, uh, so valiantly. Uh, if anything, um, higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you against us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies once enough soul is collected. Hold A to focus soul and heal. So that's how you do that. I wish I hadn't done it just there because it was a waste, but... 
Oh! I'm such a fucking goon. So now I can use it. Wow. Uh, I don't I don't play many games on the show where after I've played it I think to myself oh I bet uh I bet someone I know is gonna buy that game now um if they don't already have it I could easily see uh, professor Sanford or Sammy boy uh, who's another good friend of mine from Illinois um, definitely picking this up it's fun it's a uh, this is a good I like to call, I don't want to say time waster, because I don't feel like playing this is a waste of time, but it's a good, like, if you have time to kill, but you can't get super invested into something like, uh, like, for example, I just started Prey, but I would never play that game knowing I didn't have time to, like, get deep into it, because that game is, okay, so that, that didn't happen the first time I played <laughs> Like, Prey, Dishonored, those kind of games where, yeah, those are fantastic games, but unless you have a good, like, hour to two hours to invest in that when you're sitting down, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't recommend it. You can't just, like, pick that game up for, like, 30 minutes and be like, yeah, I, I did something, I accomplished something, time to go do something else, or, you know, go to work or whatever. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hollow Nest. Those water, uh, those water life droplets are pretty funny. This game is very well animated. I love, I love the main character. I bet there are a few, there were a few of these running around at Comic-Con. In the past couple of years. Dirtmouth, the fading town. So this game doesn't have voice acting, it just has, like, Sims act voice acting, which is whenever, that's what I call, or you could, uh, Banjo-Kazooie also works, but it's just, like, when there is talking, it's just like, <laughs> like that. So, uh, hello there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to w offer welcome. Our town's falling quite quiet, you see. I can't read, because I'm human. Uh. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well one by one into the caverns below. It used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. And then this is the save point. But it took away my... My fucking health. What the fuck? Uh, for all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Iselda and Cornifer. So this is the well. And here we go. And we'll do, we'll do a little exploration. And uh, see how many times I die. So these those little pieces that we keep picking up is the currency in this game that you use to buy. Oh, feel a burp. Feel a burp coming up. That you use to buy upgrades and equipment and stuff like that. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg? Is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, 
And who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. Uh, and with the introduction of Quirrell, we will call this episode. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing if you did. Uh, you don't usually re-cross characters in this game. So uh, there, uh, there's a handful I saw. So I'll try and keep the voices in my head all, all straightened out. But guys, uh, we will play for another couple episodes. And, uh, and then we will leave this at a continue as well, probably. But guys, always, always, always remember to be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And uh, me and Hollow Knight will see you in the next episode. Oh, later days.